Liquidity and smart contracts are massive right now, and I'm going to be talking about Avalanche and why I think Avalanche is probably going to go up 5x from here uh, by the end of the bull run. And I'm going to go down a list of like pretty much what's going on with it, with the company, with the project, and it's actually really exciting. So let's get into it. So Avalanche had a private sale of $230 million, and that was uh, like the, the main investor was a hedge fund in Singapore named Three Arrows, uh, run by Suzu, I think. And um, I think that they actually own 6% of Grayscale. So they're huge. You know, they're some of the biggest, it's one of the biggest crypto hedge funds in the world. Um, and there's a reason for that. There's big money gets into these things for a reason, all right? Um, Avalanche right now is number 13. And um, big money is attracted to liquidity. So they want to see like they want to be able to invest in it and they want to put a lot of money in it and they don't want a lot of slippage. Slippage is pretty much if, say for instance, you have a, uh, a volume of about $100,000 and you end up, you end up buying $50,000 of, of a coin with a volume only at $100,000. Well, you're going to create massive, uh, a massive spike in the, in the price of the coin and big money, you know, they have billions of dollars. They're not going to want to deal with something like that when they can just go ahead and buy something that has plenty of liquidity. So this just showed that shows that big money is, was interested in Avalanche even before the project was launched. Okay. So keep that in mind. Avalanche has been around since September of 2020 and it has a Right now, it's about a $20 billion market cap, which is pretty good for a project that's only been around for about a year. Now, over 230 projects support the platform, which is massive, and it's growing exponentially. So let's do some comparisons, all right? So Avalanche has f about 4,500 transactions a second. And um, right now, you know, compare that with Solana at about 2,500 uh, transactions a second on average, um, right? You, you know, they haven't experienced a 400,000 transactions per second, which happened to Solana, which brought down the blockchain for 17 hours. But, you know, regardless, it will be tested in the future and it's definitely going to take market share away from Ethereum because it is fast and it is really cheap. And that is especially if it continues to exist after this bull run. And now that's going to be the test. All right. So we'll see which projects actually do continue on. So let's see what happens. Avalanche has a couple DEXs that are very popular right now. There's one called Pangolin. Um, and there's another one called Trader Joe, which I've actually used. I have never used Pangolin, but I've used Trader Joe. It's incredibly fast. And <clears throat> the AVAX and USDC actually gives you about 20 or sorry, 43% APR, which is pretty big for, you know, putting away, you know, if you, if you have any AVAX or USDC, that's a pretty good APR. So that's kind of what you get on new platforms, which incentivizes people to use it. The pros of that is that, you know, it gives a good APR, but the cons, you know, you got to watch out because there could be security issues and you don't want to be rug pulled. As you hear all over the place, people are getting rug pulled. Who knows, you know, if there's any bugs. So let that be tested. So keep that in mind before you go all in. I don't go all in, you know, if you, if you have a stable coin, you know, maybe decentralize it a little bit through different places. So you're going to need, if, if you want to ever stake this coin, um, you're going to need 25 Avalanche and, or AV, AVAX, and you're also going to get about 10% APR, which is really good, you know, compared to like Solana or something, it's giving you seven point something percent on like Soulflare. That's not too bad. And that's also going to take a lot of the supply off the market, which will, you know, increase this, the, the price pretty much. So the more popular this, this coin gets and the more, you know, people get onto the DEXs and start using smart contracts on Avalanche, 
I'm, the more I see this price rising and more people are going to hop on this because it is cheap, it is fast, and I can't see why it would not be skyrocketing, especially during this fifth leg of the bull run. So at a $19 billion market cap, it's pretty small compared to like some of the top five and top 10. So, you know, I, I'd expect this to go to probably a hundred billion dollar market cap um, by the end of this bull. And, you know, that would put the price, you know, 5X from here. And so there's a reason for that. I mean, there's going to be trillions of dollars being rushed into this space. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to keep reminding you of this, okay? Because people actually, they don't realize that Bitcoin isn't even at a $2 trillion market cap. But there's going to be trillions and trillions of dollars coming into this space. And they're going to go into coins like this. They're going to go into, you know, people aren't going to just be investing in, in, in Bitcoin or Ethereum. They're going to be investing in things like this, like future projects that could do very well, especially the more and more they can prove themselves. So my price target on this at a hundred billion dollar market cap is around $450. And, you know, considering it's at $90 right now, hey, that's a pretty good investment. Okay, so this coin is in our portfolio. Uh, we mentioned it a long time ago in our CT club, which it, which we give out our portfolio and in trade trade updates within five minutes. Um, and you know, there's a reason wh why we hold this because we did see longevity towards this coin. And um, but you also need to do your research because this is a pretty much a new coin and it hasn't been tested like, you know, kind of like Solana. It's been tested with 400,000 transactions a second and you saw what happened to that. And so let's see if this thing can get tested. Keep that in mind when investing in this, And but I do see a lot of potential for this. So anyways, that's all I have. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.